Hello again, I'm Alex from Silly. This is my one take. You know, usually at this time of year, I kind of struggle trying to figure out exactly what to talk about because obviously it's end of September, beginning of October. There's, there's not a lot going on. But I go back about a week ago when Bryson DeChambeau was playing in the third round at the U.S. Open, and he struggled. I mean, really struggled off the tee when he was playing with Patrick Reed. Still had a chance, obviously, to win the championship, but he got to figure out his driver. So he spent hours on the range on Saturday night in the dark trying to figure it out. But what's interesting is Bryson DeChambeau knew exactly what was wrong. He's an analytical guy. He knows his swing. He owns his swing. And there's few players out here nowadays that own their swing, that really can tell you what's wrong with it, figure it out themselves, make those changes that are necessary. Interestingly enough, Jack Nicklaus was working with Gary Player on exactly that thing, talking about his swing, trying to make Gary Player get a little better, get a little more length. Take a look at this video. Yeah. That was really nice hit. Yeah. I'm jealous. I see. <laughs> so if I get, I think I like the shoulder to it because that gets me. Well, you gotta make sure your shoulder. Just get your get your shoulder back behind the ball. Yeah, hit every one of them perfect. <laughs> but hell, Jordy shows me a picture of my swing. Used to be right there, man. Now you say I'm here. Why does that happen? I mean, all right, I'm older, but why? I go why? back, I go back to 05, 62, when I went to the US Open, my back swing was right there. Oh, that's it. Oh, are you sure of yeah, that? Yeah, I'm sure. And then, and then I go back to 2002, uh, two year, uh, two later, here. And then I watch one, two weeks later, it's there. Why? Because I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm hitting the ball so well, I don't like they're changing a lot, you know? I need to see what happens. We'll make a longer swing. You know, what are you going to do with these golf balls? Just get them up. Tell me when you're ready. Don't lose these ones. Yeah, I wouldn't change it. I would move it back to the fence and we'll get it Yeah. Yeah. Yes, here. it helps you, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 hey Johnny, move to the right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the man that killed Johnny Morris. <laughs> okay, that, I love that. You see, I would try. That feels like. Which way you do? Now, what I always thought was interesting is when you talk to Jack Nicholas about what he used to do when he was younger, what he used to do when he was playing competitively, he used to meet Jack Grout maybe once a year. And maybe out of an hour session, Grout would just talk about different things. And the only thing that he might say about Jack's swing is say, you know, like move your foot back a little here or do a little something a little there. And that was it. That was it. Everything else was Jack Nicholas figuring out his swing during his entire career. One hour or so with Jack Grout at the beginning of the year, and that was it. Now, obviously, that's not the, the world we're in today with everything that's out there with players having their own psychologists and swing coaches and all that kind of stuff, all the equipment they have to try to figure out ball speed and club head speed and all that other stuff. But Bryson DeChambeau owns his swing. He knows exactly what to do, just like Jack Nicklaus knew exactly what to do. And the fact that Jack Nicklaus could sit there at 80 years old and give Gary Player advice to maybe lengthen the ball, get a little more length off the tee, I think is remarkable. And I think when you're a player now, you need to own your swing. Because if you don't own your swing, you just kind of get caught up in all the other things that are going on. Take a look at Bryson DeChambeau. Wasn't caught up in anything except for winning a U.S. Open. I'm Alex Maselli.